YouTube. So today, camping in the Sierra Nevadas, we decided to bring both stack all ice chests up. Two days. Um, and this one had one bag of ice, the other one had two. And if you look at the stack all, I'll do a review on that, but this froze and locked over the um it went over the hash browns locked that up and i couldn't get to it like look how hard this is just frozen solid uh when i poured this in when i poured it in it actually cut me because the ice was so sharp okay but i mean for the price uh these typically run about 250. Uh, this one cost me 100 and around 120 so not too bad you have your stainless steel hardware to lock this baby down to lock it down okay and then you also have it to pop beer open if you have bottled beer you have your drag handle the strap I prefer the strap over the rope and the reason for that is because you don't get no cuts inside of your uh, plastic if you're grabbing it, moving it up and down like that. Uh, typically, the rope will eventually wear a hole in it, whereas the strap allows you to displace all that weight, all that load on the edge um, evenly. Stainless steel hardware here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's double stitch, box stitch. All the way around large hardware here and then you have your stainless uh, uh, pins going through uh, this thing's pretty thick on the edges as well you have the thickness here all the way around except for the center uh, the center part you have a cutout here so that way you can strap stuff down to it if you have a strap you could also uh, use this strap to tie it down or these uh, locating points or well, one thing about this one is it's a little bit thinner once you get into this area due to that offset okay you have you don't have a deep lid so it's flat so if nothing clears this part you're not going to be able to close it so make sure that happens so, but I mean, there's plenty of ice in there still and then you have your rubber gasket all the way around in the sides all the way around it's a flat rubber gasket okay it's not rounded so it's going to be able to seal uh, more surface area when you close it you have the rubber pull strap pull it down same thing here pull it down you have beer holders or your soda holders and then on the back side you have stainless hardware. Uh, these look like scooter wheels uh, to roll it around. Stainless uh, bushings, and then you have your steel, uh, your steel brackets that go all the way around to support it, so that way it doesn't pull out of your plastic. So it distributes the load across that. Okay. On the back side, that's what it looks like. You have your measuring tape if you're a fisherman or you just want to measure something so right here this is in inches zero to 20 inches and then centimeters zero to 50 centimeters if you're on that metric system and then this is what the back looks like these uh little uh plugs right here is where they fill up the inside to make it the rotor cooler make it happen you have drain plug here the bad thing about this type of drain plug is you can release the water it has little holes on the side of it but it doesn't have a chain to keep it from from you losing it it does have a rubber uh a rubber seal acting as like a gasket but that's the only downfall to this one is it doesn't have a chain i usually take this off and throw it in the inside lock it down and let it vent when i'm done the, all the ice is at the bottom. Uh, we kind of poured these in on the top of the last minute because the food was down below. So, as you can see, it's holding nice or retaining nice pretty well. Uh, the heat in the daytime 
is about 90 degrees in the direct sun. So, I mean, I think that's holding up pretty well. Uh, I'd say you would, this cooler would last probably five to seven days, keeping your stuff cool if you didn't open it up. Opening it up like we have, uh, you're looking at like three or four um, to keep it like icy, uh, to keep it cold, probably about five days uh, before the water starts getting a little bit more warmer in this uh, heat. So I don't know how the Yetis compare to it, but for the price, I mean, it's a pretty dope road, roto cooler to have the style and stuff, heavy duty ice chest for the features it comes with and it, it lasting way longer than your traditional ones like those. I mean, these ones were filled up with ice at the same time and they're already out. So that just tells you how much heat is produced out here. Uh, there's no ice at all. Maybe a little, a few little tiny bits here and there, but that's about it. So these ones are, are outperforming them. Um, I mean, and for the price I got them at eBay, on eBay, they outperform them for a little bit more than double the price, but it's well worth it. I mean, cause these things should last a lifetime. All right, so Friday, Saturday, came back Sunday. The camping, we still have ice in the chest. So, after jumping out the water, when we just came back, ice, hot out. So that's a good, because um, I bought it a little bit before, so you're about maybe three days into it uh, with ice. And uh, it's holding it really well. The water was up to here. Um, and the sills made good sill because when we uh, came back down the hill, it vacuumized and there was, uh, you cannot open the lid until you release the pressure relief valve or your drain valve right there. And then you're able to lift the lid back up. That's how good of a seal it created on both of them. But as you can see, well worth the money to uh, invest in a better tour, especially when you're, you know, camping and uh, the temperatures range anywhere from like 30 degrees all the way up to 100 degrees. Um, it allows you to maintain your ice without having to waste your time finding ice, especially in the foothills. It's harder to find ice unless you're near stores. And uh, ice costs money, which initially if you invest in a good cooler, you only have to buy ice uh, once for a couple of days on your trip versus every time or every day because it melts so fast. This little review, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this and other content I'll be posting, definitely consider subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description below. Until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one.